Tudor Dixon is host of the Tudor Dixon podcast, and Peachy Keenan is the Federalist senior contributor and author of Domestic Extremists. I'm going to start with you, Peachy, because you wrote a great article about this in Revolver. And you say that this movie is the slickest, most visually appealing, and therefore most insidious <laughs> packaging of feminist cliches and trans grooming that you have ever seen. Tell us more. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have two daughters. I have a seven-year-old and a 14-year-old, and they've been talking about going to see Barbie for weeks now. They've mm -hmm. seen the posters. They saw a trailer before the Spider-Man movie. And I didn't even know it wasn't like PG, but apparently it's PG-13. It's full of suggestive humor. And I found out last week, they somehow didn't let anyone know this with the marketing campaign, that one of Barbie's main three sidekicks is, surprise, surprise, a man. I mean, is nothing sacred? I, there not, aren't a lot of movies that appeal to little girls, and this was one of them, but now it's off the list. And I don't really know what, what they were thinking. They just gave Barbie the Bud Light treatment, which probably looks pretty stupid in retrospect. Yeah, I mean, Tudor, it just, I, I, I can't, I don't get it. I mean, I, I have more Barbies than I can count in my house because of all my girls. Why won't they let our little girls have anything? Uh, it's not even profitable. I mean, Disney lost $900 you know, million dollars on the last three woke children's films they put out. You know, the only thing I will say about this, obviously, I haven't seen the movie. It's not out yet. But in the preview, we see the one character come out, and she's holding the high heel, and she's holding the Birkenstock, and she says, you have to make a choice. You can live in this pink utopia, or you have to go to the real world. And I thought it was funny, because I'm like, ah, oh, I kind of see, like, a biblical reference here where the <laughs> serpent is saying, you can either choose to know all. And, and she ends up not wanting to, but she chooses that. And I thought, well, I'd like to see how it plays out, because from the perspective of a mom who has four girls and having watched many Barbie shows, I just sort of wonder, when she goes to the real world, is it really ugly? Because there are a lot of things that are really ugly that little girls need to understand. And I'm not saying that this is a, a, a good thing, but it might just show people that it is nice to have a man who dotes on you and you have a career and you raise your sisters and you're a really strong woman. And perhaps the real world where men are not so great is not so great. <laughs> well, I'm Latina tutor, and so I always pick the high heel, never the Birkenstock. <laughs> <laughs> so great to have you both on, and thanks for the warning, um, Peachy. I think it's a, it's it, you know, a lot of parents out there, um, their kids are excited about the Barbie movie. Um, thanks for the warning that this is really just another indoctrination vehicle. Yeah, both of you. So typical. Yeah, so typical. So sad. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.